We're told that ray ST is the image of ray QR after the following sequence of transformations. I guess they didn't have to write ray twice at the beginning. A dilation by a scale factor of three halves about the point negative seven comma seven, followed by a 180 degree rotation about the origin. And so what we want to do is figure out what ray ST looks like after we do these transformations. So pause this video and have a go at that before we do this together. All right, so let's do the first transformation. Maybe I'll do this in red. A dilation by a scale factor of three halves about the point negative seven comma seven. So let's see where negative seven comma seven is right over there. And the way that I think about the dilation, I'll think about the x and y distance of each of these points from that point about which we are doing the dilation. And then I'll scale that distance down. So what do I mean? Well, to go from our point of dilation, I guess I could say, to this point Q, I am going down by, I'm going from seven to one, so I'm going down by six, and then I am going up in, or I'm going to the right in the x direction. I'm going from negative seven to negative three, so I'm going up by four. So if I were to scale each of these by three halves, I would instead go down four, because three, or sorry, three halves, three halves, I was thinking two thirds, I make mistakes sometimes. Three halves times negative six is negative nine, so we'll go down by nine, so that'll be one, two, three more. We'll go down by nine, and then three halves times four is six, and so then we'll go up by six, or to the right by six. So if we go from negative seven, if you increase by six, you get to negative one. So we would go right over here. Let's call that point, point S, and then let's do the same thing right over here for point R that we did for point Q. Let me do this in another color. So to go from our point of dilation to R, we're going down by two. So we're doing down by two, and then we are going to the right by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So plus nine. So now if we want to multiply both of those by three halves, instead of going down by two, you multiply that by three halves, you're going to go down by three, and then you're going to go to the right instead of by nine, three halves times nine, is going to be, let's see, did I do that right? Because that seems like a shady number. Let's see, we increased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there you go. This isn't a t nine, this is plus 10. Because I was like, this is gonna give us a, a fraction. We don't like that. So if we increased by 10 before, and we wanna go three halves of the 10, that's by 15. So we're gonna go all the way to the 10, and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. And so this is going to be our image. Once we've mapped point R, it goes to point T. And so just once we do that, our ray looks like this. Our ray looks like, looks like this. But we are not done. We now need to rotate 180 degrees about the origin. 180 degrees about the origin. So what's going to happen there? So I actually like to think about what happens to say the axes when you rotate 180 degrees about the origin. So for example, if I were to say this point right over here, this becomes say this y value, this is the point zero comma negative four. This would get rotated all the way to, to zero comma four. And if I were to take this point right over here, this would get all the way rotated back to x equaling negative four. And so what you could see is it essentially just takes the negative of both your x and y coordinates. And so if we're at this point right over here, let me just in another color, it's getting confusing. If we're at the point negative one, negative two, if we take the negative of both of those, we end up at the point positive one, positive two, so that's where our S goes to at the end. And actually this was an intermediate area S. So this is, this is our final S right over there. And then let's think about that point T. That point T, what it gets mapped to at 180 degrees is right now it's at the point eight comma four. Well, it's going to get mapped to negative eight, negative four, negative eight and negative four, which is right over there. And so this is actually the T that we care about when we think about ray st is the image after the following sequence of transformations. And so the ray starts at s and it goes through t and it keeps going. So it's going to look like this. It's going
going to look like this. Now, I took a screenshot of this problem on Khan Academy, but if you're on Khan Academy, you can actually use the tools and move this around, and it'll be a little bit neater. But there we did it. We created Ray ST based on performing this sequence of transformations.